Hello, this is Sharon Webb, Travel Tracker Implementation Specialist. Some trips may require that a payment or a deposit to be paid to a third party prior to the trip. This may be a check to pay for the admission perhaps to the museum or the theater. We have provided a view to quickly see all these trips. Note that you will also receive an email when a trip requires a third party payment, just to give you a heads up that this uh, trip is going out and may need a, a check to be mailed ahead of time, or perhaps that the, uh, the teacher is going to pick up that check before they leave on their trip. The email will contain a link directly to the trip information, uh, or you can just log in to your travel tracker and come to your school finance tab and then click on the option require third party payment here on the left. Now notice the information that comes up is a list of trips that has an indication that it's going to require a third party payment. You can see the school, the trip number, the date and time of the trip, the type of trip, where they're going, the teacher, and then the, there's a column called third party that's going to give you the information about that payment, whether, uh, as you can see here, it's going to be uh, the teacher's going to pick up the check, or perhaps it needs to be mailed. And then uh, a little bit of information just to give you some a heads up about maybe how much time is left uh, on that particular uh, trip before it leaves. Now, uh, you can get additional information uh, such as address or comments or anything by actually opening up the trip request and you can open the trip request by clicking anywhere here on the trip information and that will open up the actual trip request for you. And then when you scroll down, you'll see a section, uh, are funds payable to a third party, the amount uh, of the payment, whether it's going to be a check's going to be mailed or picking up a check. There could be other options depending on how your district is set up. And there may be an address. Uh, there may be comments. You could even add comments in here, uh, maybe uh, the check number uh, or something like that that you used to pay for this, uh, when you mailed it, anything you would like for it to be. If you do decide to make some comments in the third party payment section, remember that you will need to scroll down to the bottom of the request form and click the save and close button. So that will save that information for you. And then of course you see you come right back to your required third party payment list. Uh, notice that the system is going to default only trips from this day forward. If you needed to see uh, third party payment information from past trips, you do have the option to click on the all trips button here and that will bring up a list of all of the trips that have requested a, a third party payment, even ones in the past. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.